penalizable esters react in basic conditions to give, after a quench step, beta keto ester products. The reaction is an intermolecular cell condensation through a nucleophilic acyl substitution pathway. The mechanism involves an initial deprotonation alpha to the ester carbonyl, which provides a low concentration of the corresponding enolate conjugate base. This attacks the remaining ester and affects nucleophilic acyl substitution to give a beta keto ester. Since this material is formed in a basic environment, rapid deprotonation will occur between the two carbonyls to give a resonant stabilized anion, which is finally quenched by the addition of a strong acid. In the first step, the ester, which has a pK of around 25, is deprotonated to set up a low concentration of the resonant stabilized conjugate base. This is in equilibrium with the starting ester, so both species are present in solution at the same time. Since we now have a suitable nucleophile in the enolate, it will attack the electrophilic carbonyl of the ester to give a tetrahedral intermediate. This then collapses, with loss of an alkoxide leaving group, to give a beta keto ester. However, this is not the end of the reaction. Since the flanking carbonyls make the alpha protons have a pK of around 13, a molecule of base will deprotonate in a fast reaction to give the resonance stabilized conjugate base. This is then the formal product of the first reaction. In order to work up the reaction, an acid is added to neutralize the mixture. This quenches the anion and provides the isolated beta keto ester. In summary, enolizable esters undergo intermolecular clasing condensation in the presence of an appropriate base to give a beta keto ester. The mechanism involves nucleophilic acyl substitution as the key process in the formation of the new carbon-carbon bond.